Hello, class. Um, this week we've been talking about uh, multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary models of care in nursing um, and about management styles, and leadership qualities, and um, different organizational applications to management. Um, I was able to read uh, an article called the Restructuring Academic Health Centers to Advance Interdisciplinary Collaborations, Opportunities for Psychiatry Departments. Um, basically, the article talks about uh, restructuring the model of care to take a more dis multidisciplinary approach. Uh, I think this is something that uh, it's important throughout healthcare to take a more interdisciplinary approach to managing the patient and uh, different populations. Um, in the hospital where I work, we try to use an interdisciplinary approach by doing uh, interdisciplinary rounds every day where members of um, nursing staff, speech, occupational and physical therapy, dietitians, physicians, um, in case management, any any uh, group that's working with the patient, we try to round on the patient every day in the intensive care unit. Um, the uh, the model that I found online is sort of a all-encompassing um, vertical and horizontal and matrix style with the patient in the center and uh, the interdisciplinary team right around the center most immediately impacting the patient um, and the patient it's not only the patient but also patient family also goes at the center and then just outside the interdisciplinary team is the environment. And that would be uh, home, neighborhood, surroundings, things like that, because uh, they influence the patient, but they don't have direct contact with patient and patient family while they're in the hospital. It's some more, uh, they're more directly influenced by the uh, hospital care team at that point. Um, the uh, article does bring up the point that uh, as long as the structure of most academic health centers is hierarchical, uh, it keeps from having a really effective interdisciplinary approach. Um, there's a need for a more horizontal uh, approach um, so that everyone within the uh, multidisciplinary team um, isn't necessarily vying for top position or most important positions, but they recognize that they're all uh, equally important um, in collaborating to promote patient care. Um, this idea of the uh, of a vertical versus horizontal uh, approach, I feel like if I were to go into a management type position, there would probably be more of a horizontal approach and structure mostly because um, that's more my management style. If I go back to the management style quiz I took it was sort of a laissez-faire style but I, I you know I've never really seen myself as being uh, in a management position that's not a goal of mine it's never been a goal of mine it's not something that's really that I've really even considered so I don't really put a whole lot of thought into what my management style would be uh, because it's just not really a goal of mine. But uh, if I were to be in a management position, I, I can imagine that I would put a great emphasis on um, uh, horizontal uh, format and um, organizing around sort of the, the main skills that I feel like I have, which is um, collaboration and communication with different team members and problem solving um, 
basically taking an approach of finding out where problems and shortcomings are and uh, finding out what each person brings to the table and how they can um, be best utilized with their, you know, whatever skill set they have to uh, fill gaps and fill holes and contribute most to the team, the interdisciplinary team as a whole. Um, the, let's see, the other thing that we did this week was the leadership questionnaire. Um, I think uh, if I look back to my notes, I had um, the highest score in interpersonal, which again doesn't really shock me, um, seeing that I feel like uh, my strong points would be inner, you know, communication with different team members. I think that uh, it ties back into the idea of um, horizontal structure. Um, I don't really like the uh, concept per se of um, vertical versus horizontal, though. I think if I if I'm you know really thinking about management um, and organization of interdisciplinary teams, I think there's an element of both vertical and horizontal in every circumstance. Obviously, you're going to have management, and you're going to have nurses, and you then you're going to have your CNAs, um, and there are certain things that the CNA, you know, for example, can't do that a nurse can't and certain things that, uh, you know, a nurse can do that a respiratory therapist can't. And you've got, you know, things that a nurse can't do that a PA can, things that a PA can't do that a doctor can. So, you know, in, in structuring a unit and trying to bring the interdisciplinary team together, there's going to be a hierarchy just because of, uh, you know, scope of practice. But in managing a unit the interdisciplinary team um, you have to see what every person brings to the table and seeing every person as uh, integral to the patient which again is at the center of the uh, care model and everyone sort of working together to bring what they can to uh, make the patient the patient family the center and promoting best outcome for the patient so that's mostly where I'm, where I am, and looking at uh, management style and promoting health and using the care model on my unit in, uh, you know, trying to deliver the most effective care for the patient.